Hey, a very good Saturday to you. I'm Storm Teammate Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth hanging out in the Forecast Center. Uh, thing, I'm just uh, jumping on Facebook here. Just want to give everyone a quick update on what's happening. Uh, we are tracking some rain. I know a lot of you have been seeing it downpour uh, throughout the morning here, especially over portions of Pinellas, Pasco, and now Hillsborough County. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to give you just a quick update on what's happening right now. I know this is the last thing that we need, more rain, I know. Also, we got the latest on Hermine. We'll the forecast track for that and uh, some big changes coming our way over the next couple of days so it looks like we're now up to just about 400 folks so hi guys i'm ed bloodsworth go ahead and say hi Raymond, nice to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Hope all of you are going to have a good Labor Day weekend. I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip this around. Good morning, Sandra. And let's uh, go ahead and show you what's happening. So when will the rain stop? Randall, I hope to answer that question for you right now. And uh, Terry, tell me you're, you're flooded in St. Pete. Well, no surprise considering uh, what's uh, happening here. So... Here's a look at the radar. Here's what's going on. We had a little batch of rain out over the Gulf of Mexico this morning. It is now pushed inland and now is working its way across Tampa Bay. So let's take a quick check of what's happening and first start to the north. We know these three counties, Citrus, Hernando, Pasco, have had the bulk of the rain in the last couple of days. And well, yeah, it is raining again. Steady light to moderate rain over Homosassa, Highway 19, down through Brooksville. Also some pretty decent thunderstorms right now over uh, northern Polk County. Uh, you can see there, uh, just uh, about to get in on Polk City, just right on the north side of I-4 there. Stretching back down through Hillsborough County, getting some scattered downpours. Gibsonton, downtown Tampa, still seeing some light rain. Brandon now getting wet and plants city just just some spotty downpours but now southern pinellas this is where we've had the bulk of the rain throughout the morning here over portions of st pete st pete beach tierra verde boca ciega there's a nasty thunderstorm a lot of lightning coming right over boca ciega if you're watching us heading towards the beaches right now um make other plans for the next couple of minutes do not be out on the beach when this uh, little batch of lightning comes in over st pete beach and boca ciega we've had a lot of stories recently about folks getting struck by lightning don't want to see another story like that and i'll tell you what about to travel over the sunshine skyway it's going to be a very rough go of things very heavy rain here could even see some gusty winds as this travels into tampa bay southern counties you haven't had too much and i don't think you're going to see much in the next few minutes here a lot of this is going to stay mainly at tampa bay and north for today. Also, I do want to make mention there is a flood advisory in effect for just about another three minutes. This will be allowed to expire here just in about three minutes from now. That's an aerial flood advisory for Southern Pinellas, Central Hillsboro. That includes downtown Tampa, Davis, Back down to St. as well. I was that you picked up a lot of rain. Well, let me show you why here. Let me figure out which map I saved it on. I believe I saved it on. Okay, it wasn't that map. Anyway, we've uh, I've been looking at. There we go. All right, so these are the rainfall. This is how much rain that we've had in the last just six hour time frame. The last six hours, and a lot of this has been coming in this morning. Back across southwest. Western Pasco, we've had about three inches of rain. Now, these are estimates by Doppler radar. Southern Pinellas, you quickly picked up about two inches of rain as that thunderstorm passed by. And yes, it is still raining. So you are going to be uh, likely adding to that total here. And that's going to be the threat with anything that we see for the rest of the day uh, here. We're going to have a lot of these scattered downpours. Uh, you know, a lot of leftover moisture from Hermine. And let me go back to that map and advance it. All right, let me go back to the map and loop it right there. That's what I'm trying to show you. We're going to have all these scattered downpours continue to make their way off from the Gulf here. In fact, what I'm watching here is this line shaping up. It appears that the southern progression has stopped here, so I'm going to be a little bit more worried about almost a training going on over southern Pinellas. Yeah, in fact, that's a look. That almost looks like what's happening here. It looks like we may be getting a little bit of training happening heading into the mouth of Tampa Bay. So we could pick up some more very heavy rain over southern uh, Pinellas in the next about, uh, let's say, about next uh, couple of hours. Uh, it's going to be really rough go of things down through Saint, down through southern St. Pete if you're heading down towards the pier. Uh, southern Pinellas, let's zoom in on a little bit more. 
Tierra Verde, Boca Ciega, Seminole, and Pinellas Park, uh, you're going to be drenched over the next couple of hours. And again, for the rest of the area, it's going to be very scattered for the rest of the day. But again, the rain chances will continue. And speaking of uh, Hermine, of course, a lot of folks have been uh, wondering what's happening. It is now no longer a tropical cyclone it, or not a, no longer a tropical storm. It's what we call a post-tropical storm. It's now made its way off of the North Carolina coastline. Bad news. Up here, if you got any friends and family for the uh, living along the uh, New England coastline, very high surf, r high winds, and very uh, and a big threat of some coastal flooding here as the system just sort of stalls out there uh, back over the coast. Now, I know we're going to be dealing with some rain now, but I also want to show you this. There is a light at the end of this very wet tunnel. Watch what happens with our moisture forecast here. The greens indicate high moisture. That's going to keep us fairly uh, wet through the next 24 hours. But here's the good news. By midweek next week, much drier air settles in. So our rain chances really start to drop as we start going into next week. So that is certainly going to be some good news. Quick check of over the next uh, eight days here. We're going to have that rain chance still high today at 60%. But then it starts to drop as we approach Labor Day. How many folks are going to be out doing something on Labor Day? Hopefully a lot of you. Still going to have a few a afternoon showers and thunderstorms, but overall not as much rain as we're seeing today. But look at what these numbers do over the course of the next week. Down to 20% by Thursday. Very dry air starts sliding in by then. Highs right around 90. Morning lows not too bad into the mid-70s. So again, as I mentioned, a light at the end of this very dreary tunnel. I know it's been a rough couple of days for us here in Tampa Bay, but the good news is things will start getting back to normal over the next couple of days. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. Again, just watch out for those scattered heavy downpours. Also, we've been getting more pictures of some of these flooded streets. Be sure to send them our way. If you can safely take them, send them and post them on uh, Facebook or Twitter. And if you do, do post on Twitter, use the hashtag WFLA so we can find it just like that. So again, thank you for all of your pictures. I know it's been rough. Don't worry, things are going to start improving over the next couple of days. And that'll do it for now. Uh, we'll be sure to join us later on this afternoon, and we'll certainly be keeping you updated. Have a great rest of your Saturday.